going on everybody? I am Akros. Thank you again for tuning in for another tutorial. This is going to be a tips and tricks and some how-tos while playing the game. Now, I'm going to cover camper in this tutorial. Survivor will be in the next one. Now, if you have not seen any of my tutorial videos or you're just downloading the game for the first time, I would go ahead and look in the links in the comments below or, or the description below, sorry, or click on the video that should be above me right now or below me one of the two look for day one that'll teach you just starting into it so it doesn't take too much out of the game when you first start going through all right so getting started I'm gonna go ahead and unmute the sound for you guys all right I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, the canoe river that's the simplest scenario going into camper now your starting gear I'm gonna go ahead and go into what every single piece of starting gear does and then I'm gonna go through which are the best ones in my opinion. So the first one is the axe, which collects wood, uh, I guess you call it more efficiently. So each time you go to gather wood, it's going to collect like, you know, you gather five wood in one go. Flashlight lets you explore, gather wood, or travel at night. But be careful, it does run out though. I believe it's a one or a two time use, I'm not sure. A magnesium fire starter, just a more efficient way to create fire. Outdoor backpack allows you to carry extra spaces in your inventory. Outdoor knife allows you to have a second knife available just in case, you know, your knife breaks. Or if you would be doing a scenario that allow, you know, started you without a knife, you'll have a knife if you choose this. Then down here on your second tier is you've got a butane lighter, which is a one go guaranteed to start your fire. You got a first aid kit which comes with bandages, um, a, a pamphlet on how to bandage your wound which you can tear into tinder, and a pouch which allows you to carry stuff on your person. A uh, heat pack which gives you 100% um, uh, body heat right off the go. An MRE ration which gives you a thousand uh, calories or thousand energy right off the bat, one time go. A uh, paracord bracelet, which allows you to break down, and I believe, into three rope, if I'm not mistaken. It could be four, but I believe it's three. I could be wrong on that one. And then Vaseline Cotton Balls is a really good uh, tinder starter. All right, so I'm not going to start off with anything, um, just to kind of show you the other tips and tricks on everything else like that. And I'm going to go ahead and go into... Actually, you know what? I am going to start with something. When I normally start camper, my best ones that I start with are... I normally start with an axe and I start with a first aid kit. Those are my two favorite to start off with every single time. Doesn't matter if I'm doing camper or survivor. All right. Go ahead and loading it up. All right, just your normal scenario. You're soaking wet, your canoe capsized. All right, going into day one. All right, so tips and tricks for day one. First thing you automatically want to start doing is you want to build a shelter. That's your first thing you want to do before you even go through and figure out what you need is build a shelter because you have a you have a fail rate of building your shelter at night. So go ahead and get rid of that and build a rain catcher. Now, I know it sounds weird. Why build a rain catcher? You know, well, guess what? Your trash bag does not tear if it's not on your person. Every single time you go to a new place, build a rain catcher. Get it off your person immediately as fast as you can. That way, when you're traveling, either gathering wood, you're doing whatever you're doing, looking through your inventory, you know, if you travel, build a snare, explore, get wood, you never tear your trash bag because it's not on your person anymore. So I don't know if that's an exploit or not, but it's just a little bit of a uh, strategy. Now, second of all, gather wood. I know it sounds weird, but if you have an axe, see, boom, you used axe, you collected three wood, which is, all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our inventory now. Now, because we gathered wood, which we built up our body heat a little bit, so we're not at 17. So uh, we can actually go through our inventory without almost dying. So first thing we do is you go to your survival manual. You're going to want to go ahead and tear that up into tender. You're going to go ahead and take your wooden paddle, and you're going to break that, and you're going to break your wooden spear. Now you'll have six wood for a fire for tonight. Um, you'll have your one match, your axe, and then, okay, so we have our first aid kit. Newspaper, we'll go ahead and tear that in the tender. Um, pack of matches, which will keep closed. We have one rope, utility bag, a folding knife, which is good if our knife ever dies. We have a compass, uh, rubber boots, 
Um, oh, we have an empty can, which they do not take up any carrying space, guys. So if you get an empty can, keep it an empty can. Don't break it apart just yet. Save it, to, you know, to get the cooking pot if you ever need it. Or the sharp lid to make a knife. And then the tinder. Alrighty, so then we're going to go into our food. We got bottles of safe water, three energy bars. Try to save your energy bars, too. Don't eat them right off the bat. Try to save energy bars for bait if you can. Alright, live off the land. It's a lot easier. Alright, bottle of soda. Always drink this in the morning when you're about to travel because it gives you 300 calories, which allows you to travel fast with just a 100 extra more calories. So, it's just right there. You will not die when you get to zero calories. Um, okay, so, and, ooh, squirrel juice is the same way. You put squirrel juice, bottle of soda. Yes, there'll be empty bottles. You drink those, but, it, like, if you have a way to collect water, then you collect your water, then you book it, you'll have the calories to move fast and get to the next place. All right, and smoked meat. Go ahead and save that as well. Don't eat that right off the bat. And then I believe that's all we have. Okay, now, one thing I do is I do drink the safe water right off the bat right here next to the river because I go ahead and collect more water because I'm about to make a fire. And then you can just boil the water and then you can just wash, rinse, repeat till your um, hydration is full. I wasted my fire on accident because I'm uh, talking. All right, so anyways... So let's go ahead and, um, just for learning's sake, let's go ahead and pop our matches because I was being dumb. Alright, doop, doop, doop. Alright. Go ahead and get that. That's plenty, of, that's plenty of fire for the whole night. You do not have to have the exact amount of hours per hour. Alrighty, then we're going to go ahead and go back. We're going to go ahead and go into our inventory. We're going to go ahead and collect and drink a lot of water here. You always want to go ahead and get all the way 100% for your body heat and your hydration before you take off. And make sure that you do have at least one bottle of safe water. Or one bottle of safe water, the squirrel juice, the soda, each of however you think about it. Now, the other two bottles can be unsafe water, but you do need to have at least one bottle of safe water on you at all times if you can continue to do it. Now, never travel at night, guys. Never explore at night unless you have a torch, but even when you have a torch, you do can run into the acceptable danger. So we're going to go ahead and wait off the night. The night is your worst enemy. So we're going to go ahead and wait that off. All right, two hours left. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wait those off. Now, another thing that you guys need to always travel with when you're traveling, always build a walking stick. Yes, it takes up the inventory, but you do travel a lot faster with it. So we're gonna go ahead and collect some wood. Boop, like that. We're gonna go into our crafting menu. We're gonna craft a walking stick real quick, and it doesn't require a knife either, so you don't have a chance of breaking your knife. All right, so we're going to go into here. We're going to go ahead and go to our gear, and we're going to throw out the rest of this wood we don't need. Like so. Walking stick, matches, tender. Okay, so we're all good. We're good to travel. We have 700. Our uh, hydration's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to travel, and we're going to go ahead and book it. We're going to walk fast this time because it only takes 200 calories. Boom, walked, we're nine miles. See, there you go. Now we have 200 calories left. We got eight or nine hours left. So we're going to go ahead and book it. Uh, uh, do you know, oh, need 400 calories this time. So go into our inventory, go over to our gear, go to a bottle of soda, drink that. Go into our squirrel juice. Boom, drink that. Bam. All right, let's go ahead and take it. it takes 400 calories. Sorry, what was I saying? You never want to travel... You never want to travel when you have less than five hours during the day. If you have four, four to zero hours, do not even think about traveling. Okay, so now seven minus four. We can go ahead and build camp in a couple hours. All right, we're at thick forest, which is fine. We have three hours remaining. Boom, build. And we can go ahead and make a shelter here. Like that. Boom. All right, we have one hour remaining, which is fine. We'll gather some wood, get our body heat up. 
Now, if you have 97 body heat, you will survive the night as long as it's not raining and as long as you have a shelter. So, um, without starting a fire, I can go ahead and rest off the night. That's why, you know, having um, a shelter is key when playing on camper. There we go. Four hours remaining. Now, this is where you don't want to start traveling and start moving around because you have zero energy. So, unfortunately, we have to figure out a way to get more energy and more, uh, you know. So, we're going to go into our inventory. We're going to go ahead and eat our smoked jerky now. Um, we're going to eat that. And then we're going to go into our gear, go to our outdoor clothing. We're going to tear this to get the piece of cloth because we want to go ahead and make rope out of the piece of cloth. And this has a fill rate. So, if we have energy, there you go. It should not fail as fast. Okay. Now, we do always want to keep a piece of cloth on us for uh, medical reasons, you know, in case we uh, get a wound or something like that. So, we're going to go ahead and we have, we currently have two rope. We have zero bait, which is fine. We go in here to the energy bars, like I was talking about, and we're going to crumble those into bait, like that. And we're going to go ahead and build our snare trap. And that is what we're going to need to get now. Obviously, we're probably going to stay here for one more day, but we're only 33 miles to safety, which is fine. We have 50 um, energy, so we're going to go ahead and explore. See if we can get anything around here this area. So we got edible berries and tinder, which is great. Now we can go in here, get the edible berries. Boom. Get 50 more. Go exploring again. Never explore without any... Oh, we got maggots. And we do got our... Uh, trash or sorry our trash bag off of us uh, maggots is fine for bait if you all if you run into a river or a uh, big river or a lake you'll all, I mean it's it's a shoe in on what you're gonna get um, so uh, maggots and we'll go ahead and eat those I mean, we'll go ahead and uh, explore some more but maggots we got birch bark so we can uh, do some stuff at night which is fine now, I'm at zero energy. I guess we can go ahead and eat the maggots again. Boom, explore. And let's see what we can get here. We got edible berries, which is fine. Boom, edible berries. Just like so. Now, um, what I'm actually trying to do, guys, exploring triggers hunting. That's how hunting works. You explore the area till you find the tracks to hunt. So that's how you want to get everything going. Okay, so now we got two bottles of empty water, one bottle of regular water, we got two energy bars. I'm gonna go ahead and eat an energy bar because we have our trap. And then we're gonna go ahead and explore the area again, try to get a hunting uh, to trade. Yeah, there you go. We've explored that there is animals to hunt in the area. You found tinder and tinder fungus, which is fine. Those, aha, those, see, those are pig tracks. You can actually hunt pigs. So you can go ahead and go in here. We'll craft a spear. And we'll see if we can go ahead and get a pig for you guys. There you go. Back out. Oh, and our trap triggered. So we're going to go ahead and cut that open. Dead hair. We got six hours of that remaining, which that will be fine. We'll go ahead and hunt. Now, hunting has a very, 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 very... Yes, see? I got a... Uh, I got it. Dead wild piglet is in now my inventory. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to go over to... We got raw meat... We're going to go into Dead Wild Piglet. We're going to gut him open. We got a bunch of raw meat, so we're going to go in here. Fire. Just like that. So that's how you hunt, guys. You can only hunt pigs right now at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and cook a bunch of this meat up. We're going to cook three of the meat up. And then we're going to go ahead and smoke the rest of it, because that'll keep it from spoiling. Now... Hopefully, I don't think you want to smoke while you're exhausted. Um, when it says exhausted, because you have a chance to fail. See, like that right there. I'm actually getting really tired. So let's go ahead and smoke the rest of this, or cook the rest of this meat, just like that. But we do have some meat smoked. All right, chunks of meat. You do want to eat these within four hours. So let's go ahead and eat these up. Because they'll be uh, spoiled by the time you uh, finish off the night. And then the snare is still good. We still at 12 hours. We're going to go ahead and go in here into our... We're going to save our bottle of water for in the morning. Okay. 
And what else did we get? We got uh, tinder fungus, which we can crumble down into tinder. Uh, we got hair skin. We got bone. We got um, animal. Oh, it's the tendon from the wild animal. Huh. I process that, in the, process that into rope. And then bones, you can make into a fishing hook or into a knife, either way you want to. Now, if I do not have a fishing hook or a or a tackle box or however you call it when you start off, I go ahead and process that into a fishing hook. The reason why is it takes zero space, and at least you have one fishing hook if you ever need to build a fishing or a um, uh, yeah a uh, fishing rod, and you don't have to worry about having the hook. All right, so we do got our birch bark. We could go ahead and make the. No, because, uh, see, now, normally when you hunt or fail at hunting or however it is, that comes up. So, let's go ahead and we'll wait off the rest of the night and we'll go ahead and take off. Because we got our calories back up, so we can go ahead and book it. Alright, we got two more rests available. Doop -a doo We'll go ahead and drink our bottle of water, take off, and then hopefully be able to... Alright, there we go. Inventory. Go in here. We'll go to our wooden spear. We'll throw our wooden spear away because we don't need that anymore. Uh, go over here. Always make sure you grab your rope and disassembling all your traps. All right, so we got our four rope back. Go into our inventory. We're going to drink our water bottle right here like that. Brings us back down to 19, and we can take off. And this is the best, like, rinse, wash, and... Right, now you got a stream. Now we can just go ahead and fill up our water bottles. We got unsafe water, and we're going to definitely try to get our rain catch our trash bag off of us so we don't ever rip our trash bag. And go ahead and collect to boil water, because we don't want to take off again without having safe water. There we go. Match. And there you go. And we got water in our rain catcher now. boil our water and we can go ahead and uh, drink it up. Like so. Alright, now we have three bottles of safe water, two smoked meat, three bait, one energy bar. Alright, we've still got a little bit of energy left. It is getting down kind of late. And it is raining, and uh, we have no shelter. So we're going to go ahead and make a shelter, and we're going to camp out for the rest of the night. All right. So we have five hours remaining. We got plenty of body heat. We got plenty of energy right now. We're going to go ahead and explore. That's what we definitely want. Found some crickets. This is bad. A huge animal, a bull moose standing in the distance. That means we cannot go ahead, we can't collect wood, but we can go ahead and explore some more. We found rocks, which is really good. You can make uh, knives out of rocks as well. Um, then we'll go, so we'll go ahead and explore some more. Got, we got wood that way. Now, that's how you wait off the bull moose, guys. You just wait away and it will, the bull moose will go away. So right now I'm trying to trigger fishing for you guys. This is how you fish. Um, you found birch bark and rocks, which is fine. And then, oh, now I'm exhausted. That's a bad idea. Birch bark, okay. So let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and break our um, walking stick down because you can break the walking stick down into wood. Boom, we got three wood. Now again, we're at zero energy, but we're fine. We have 100, so we'll go ahead and wait off as much as we want to. Now, if we get down too low, we'll go ahead and make a shelter, but you don't need to, uh, or not make a shelter, we'll make a fire, but you don't need to unless you get too low. Now, see? Boom, started. 
We got 30 body heat. It's going to start building back up again. We're 25 miles away. We can go ahead and build our walking stick because we did not have to use it for a fire. Um, like that. Now, I do want to trigger the... Um, let's go ahead and eat some of our sliced jerky. Like that. Let's see if I can go ahead and get the spear fishing for you guys. So that way you could see how that's done. Um, my folding knife is broken. Yeah, that's fine. I'll show you how to make a knife. That's perfect. Uh, yep, there's fish in the area. Okay, there you go. That's how you unlock. Boom, you got spear fishing now. So now what you're going to do is to build a knife. You're going to go in here. You're going to do it out of one of two ways. You could do it out of rocks. You could do it out of the... Um, uh, where is it? Empty can. Now, I believe the empty can is less than the rock, but I'm going to show you the differences in carrying weight. So, see, you can wreck this to a sharp piece, which takes care. Sharp, re uh, sharp piece, or uh, sharp rock, sorry. Sharp rock is, will take care of your knife problem. All right. Now, you go into your inventory, you go to your sharp rock, you notice it takes three carrying spaces. Now, if you go into your empty can, break that apart. Go over here to your sharp can lid. Like that. Attach. That takes four slots. So, obviously, the can lid knife is worse than the sharp rock. So, out of, you know, saving, I'm going to go ahead and throw away the can lid knife. But that's how you take care of your knife problem without having to have bone. So, you're going to go ahead and go over to your crafting. Scroll down to your four prong spear which you need wood and rope which you're going to go ahead and make that now fishing with spear fishing in your inventory actually you know what and i'm going to create the pouch with hair skin and rope as well oh and we got more water as well all righty all right and then we're going to go ahead and uh, let's go in our inventory. Let's eat something. Uh, we'll go... Let's eat the crickets. There we go. Got 100 energy. Let's spear fish for now. Yes. See? Caught a small fish. Boom. There you go. Go in here. Now, fish are one of the very few that you can gut and you can eat raw. There you go. Boom. Eat it. Or you could dry it. Either way. And... They got 236 calories now. We got five hours, so we'll go ahead and stay here a little bit. We'll spearfish some more. Uh, that's fine. And then they will disappear. Now, you can also build a fish trap as well. Either way. Now, notice I have 37. If you go into your gear and you go to your four-prong spear, you can get your wood and rope back. You just disassemble it just like that, and you got your wood. I'm going to go ahead and get enough wood to build a fire for the night because it is raining. Eh. Smoked jerky spoiled. Don't know how that works, but it's alright. Alright. So now we got plenty of wood. We're going to go ahead and use our third match when it needs. Go ahead and here and drink a bunch of water. Just like so. Inventory. So... Alright, then we're going to go ahead and go into fire, or actually no, yeah, let's go ahead and build a fire, why not, and we're going to go ahead and wait off the night with a fish trap available, so that way we might be able to get some fish before we take off, so we'll have plenty of fish to travel with, because right now we only have one energy bar to travel, and we do need a little bit of food. And the rain went away, so now you can hear me a little bit better. <laughs> All right. And it rains again. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Must be in Fiji. All right, and then take the rest of that away. Okay, now let's check our fish trap. Triggered, which is fine. Small dead fish. We'll gut. We'll take it. We'll go ahead and eat it now to give us the 200 we need. And then we're going to disassemble all of our traps. Break down some of the stuff that we 
don't need, because right now I think we just, yeah, we have way too much wood on us right now. Oh, yeah, I never made a fire, did I? Which is fine. Um, boop. Boop, boop. Wood. Throw all this away, because we don't need any of it. We have our walking stick. We have our sharp rock. We have our pouch. We'll go to fishing hook. We don't need our rocks, which take away too much. And then go in here. We have our compass, rubber boots. We don't need this much tinder. We'll throw this away down to, it says zero, just like that. Um, and we have our two, match it, um, our two matches, piece of cloth, cooking pot. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and hit back. We're going to go ahead and travel. And we're just going to walk for four hours. All right, now we're at the cliffs. We got 16 miles to go. Zero energy. That's a deadfall. I don't want to be here, so this is probably the first time I'm going to try to travel with zero energy. We got... Uh, let's get rid of one item. Now let's go ahead and... We have a sharp rock. No. Let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of... Let's get rid of some birch bark. We're going to throw away a little bit of birch bark, and we're going to go ahead and travel again, because I do not like being next to the cliff, so I am going to walk exhausted. Now, it shouldn't be about five miles, four miles. I'm at the hills. Hills are fine. I could build a bird trap if so, but I have two hours remaining, so we're going to go ahead and build the rain catcher in the shelter, and we're going to hunker down for a little bit. Ooh, debris hut. I don't like them. They take two hours, but we do want to go ahead and make sure we have all that available. Now... Um, we do have, we can go ahead and try to get wood if we want to, or I can go ahead and do something that I like to try to do is like, so we go over here to our walking stick. I believe that it gives you, okay, it only gives you one wood, I believe, but we could build a fire and with the, um, tender and light the birch bark torch and then get more wood so we're going to go ahead and light it real fast right here boom inventory go to walking stick break that down go like that go to crafting and build and so now we're lighting the birch bark torch so now it's lit all right now we're going to go ahead and collect wood all right so, finding wood in the darkness is tough, although I have a lighting, lighting source with me. Collected one wood, plus Axe helped me get one more wood. There you go. And then we could do it again, I believe. Yep. There we go. Same thing. So, I gathered four wood. Boom. And we'll go ahead and start the fire up. Boom. We got plenty to go. Now, I uh, believe we can go into inventory. We have the remains of a torch. Throw it away, because you can't do anything with it. And then we'll go ahead and rest off the night. Rest off the night. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and get off this side of the hill. Uh, so utility bag. Now I do want to go ahead and build another walking stick. So we're going to gather some wood real quick. Just like so. Uh, debris hut shelter collapsed. Cool. Don't care. Going to go ahead and go up here. Craft a walking stick. Boom. Go in here. Um, inventory get rid of the rest of the wood that I do not need and then that puts us down to there so we're going to go ahead and take off we're going to walk for four hours we are going to be exhausted alright so this is where we are at grasslands which is fine this is where we got to hunker down and we're going to build a shelter alright got to build a shelter now, when you're exhausted, you do have a fail rate. There you go. Two hours of daylight remaining. Build the trash or the uh, rain catcher. Completed. Bam. We got one hour of daylight remaining. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let's let's explore for that one hour actually. Add a 
double plant fiber. That's great. So now we're gonna go in here. We're gonna. Oh, that's just the edible. Okay. So that'll give us 25 energy to look around some more. So we're gonna go ahead and rest the whole night off, and we're gonna go ahead and go without with the fire this time, which is fine. The rain stopped, so we should be perfectly fine. There you go. We'll go ahead and get up out of there. And we'll start gaining body heat again. We go into our inventory, food, water. We'll go ahead and drink up our bottle of water. We'll keep our one safe water on us. We'll go ahead and eat that. Give us 25 uh, energy. We'll go ahead and travel off away from here. Boop. And there you go. And you survived. Doing some of the tips and tricks... There you go, guys. You traveled 62... Or I, I traveled 62 miles in just under 10 days. So it's 8 days right there. Uh, shows you everything I got. Fish caught. You know, everything. So we're going to go ahead and continue the menu. There you go, guys. That is just a uh, camper. Quick tips and tricks tutorials on what you need to do and how to do them. So that way you can almost... Uh, beat camper every single time for some of you guys that are having some issues and some troubles out there There's a lot more to meet the eye. There's a lot more uh, Stuff to do and you know when you put some strategies down and stuff like that. So um, Experiment with some of your ideas and uh, let me know in the comments below if you found something a little bit more useful Than what I've showed you here. So uh, I'm Akros guys and uh, like comment subscribe if you want to become an ascendant today and continue with my rise and uh, to all my ascendants out there, love all you guys. Stay on the rise.